Okay. <clears throat> Welcome into a uh, another Sunday sermon, and uh, it is Sunday. And guess what? Right now I'm drinking some wine. Uh, Primitivo, pa uh, Paligia. It's uh, wine right here. I love Primitivo wines. They're my favorite wines. Red wine, see? Red. I said, brother, what you doing? Drink? This is a Sunday. You you doing a Sunday sermon? What you doing? With wine? But, 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 hey, I was at a I was at a Sunday I was at a service last Sunday. The the, the first of uh the new the the new calendar year. And they had a little wine thing, the little wafer thing. Of course, I, I well, I didn't take it because I'm not Christian, so you know, I didn't want to be, uh, I don't know, incorrect, you know, professing to eat the the body and the blood and the whatever of Christ, and I'm not really a Christian, so it wasn't for me. But I'm just saying. So think of it. This is my, uh, <laughs> well, like like Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. This is I'm a um, eclectic pluralist. Now, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., as far as I know, doesn't really drink. He don't curse. He don't drink. He don't do any of that stuff. He just deals with uh, producing justice, which is what we're doing right now. Right now, Sunday sermon. Every Sunday, what we do is we read about uh, out of one of the uh, one of the tomes of a, one of the published books of Mr. Nelly Fuller Jr. Um, this week, since we're still in the states, uh, we're reading from the uh, two, uh, 2016 revised uh, re uh, revised expanded edition of the um, United Independent Compensatory um, uh, of Code System. You know, concept book. Uh, it's a uh, compensatory uh, guide, a compensatory uh, counter racist code by Miss Nelly Fuller Jr. Like I said, this is 2016. And by the way, this is a uh, it's really a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and uh, or action for victims of racism and white supremacy. Now, if you're not a victim of racism and white supremacy, this is not the tome for you. Anyway, every Sunday we read out of the, out of the, out of uh, as I said, one of the, one of the books that you can get from producejustice.com. You go to producejustice.com and you'll get. Um, he has his book now. When I get back to, well, well, of course that bitch when it comes to it. Um, so this year, uh, when we read, uh, we, uh, well, let me just say we're there are nine areas of uh, human activity as Mr. Nelly Fuller Jr. would want to say, and. Uh, Right now, we're going to be in the area of uh, the sixth area of uh, people activity was politics or people relations. Now, there are um, uh, the way the book is handled. It's like you know, he has it. You have you have a um, uh, what do you call it? A, a bold, and then he has the, that's most mostly a question. Then you have an answer, bold question, answer like that. And for this. Uh, Sunday sermon. We're going to go to page uh, two forty eight, and we're going to do those those first two bold ones. Um, and the question is, let me take a little swig of uh, my primitivo. Well, I'm telling you, man. You know, this is a Sunday sermon. I, I I see every week. I see them up there drinking the 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 you know, the blood and the whatever whatever. Now I'm just drinking the wine. I'm not claiming it anything. Ah, uh, okay. Question. What is the correct thing for you to say when someone suggests that you should use your time and energy doing something other than trying to end racism or trying to produce justice? So what is the correct thing you should say? That's the question that the uh, compensatory uh, concept uh, asks. The answer, Mr. B Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., Supplies is say, I have been assigned to do what I am doing. I have been assigned to do what I am doing. The people who assigned me are the people who have produced or have failed to end the practice of uh, white supremacy, which is racism. If white supremacy racism did uh, uh, did not exist, there would be no reason for any person to be assigned to end it. There is 
reason to believe that as long as racism exists, it is the duty of each person who is aware of his existence to use all of his or her time and energy in uh, trying to end it and trying to replace it with justice, or as Mr. Dale Fuller would want to say, a system, the system of justice. So that's the first uh, question and answer on page uh, 248 of the revised edition here. The second answer, the second question is, what is the correct thing to say when someone says that racism cannot be eliminated? The answer, say that every person should make a maximum effort to end racism, which is white supremacy regardless of how many times it is said that it cannot be done. Basic logic says that anything that people put together, people can take apart. Racism was put together by people. Therefore, it can be taken apart by people. This is interesting because I've just I finished listening to um, the broadcast, the transmission that Mr. Neely Fuller did, Jr. did on... Um, uh, what was that date? Uh, uh, December twenty seventh. There was no transmission on on uh, on uh, December uh, well January third. So, uh, but on the, on his twenty seventh, he 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 talked about uh, being persistent. So, there you go. It's right in keeping with everything. So that's it. A reading from me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Let you know what uh, what I suggested by Mr. Nilly Fuller Jr.